Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So did you know that you can actually create halftone images in Synfig or rather turn your images into a halftone image? Well you can and I'm going to show you how to do just that. Now to do that we need an image and I already have one prepared here conveniently. So let me just import that into Synfig. And uh, it's upside down, so I'm just going to rotate this by maybe 180 degrees. And I'm going to scale it up just so that it will fit into frame. And uh, yeah, so that is okay. Let me zoom in to see if everything is fitting into the frame. And yeah, it is. All right, so this is very simple. To convert this into a, a, a half tone image, simply right click in your layers properties, in your layers panel, sorry, uh, go to new layer, filters, and click on half tone 2. And voila, we now have a half tone image. Now, um, there are a few settings that we can change here, right? Especially just to configure it to our liking. And um, so with the Aftone 2 layer selected, if we look over here, we can see that we have a type option and right now it's on symmetric. So we can click on this and uh, let me just change it to light on dark and see what that looks like. And it gives it that effect. Let me see what diamond looks like. Uh, let me actually zoom in here so we can see it much clearer. And uh, let me see what stripe looks like and we get a bunch of lines. Now let me go back to symmetric and uh, light and dark. Okay. And let me zoom out. Now I think I'm liking the light and dark so I will stick with that. And uh, let's take a look at these three points here. Now the green point moves the, the half tone effect. The blue point rotates it and the red point scales it up or down okay so he, here we can see that it's getting bigger and bigger and uh, let me just change these to let you see what they look like when they are this size all right okay so let me switch back to light and dark and uh, we can scale this all the way out to see what it looks like let me zoom in here and uh, this actually looks really cool. It looks like a sketch, all right? So, I mean, if that's to your liking, you could leave it that way, but that's not what we're going for here. So let me just bring this back all the way down and I'm gonna bring it very, very, I'm gonna make it very, very small here, just so that I can see my image much, much clearer. So let me just move this down a bit and uh, till the points are very very small let me zoom in to see what that looks like and okay so we can work with that and i'm loving what this looks like well actually let me make this a bit bigger i think like so okay so that is looking good all right so this is how you can easily change your images into a an aftone well change your image into an aftone image and uh, I'm just gonna make a small animation to see what it um, what it looked like before and what it looks like now okay well but before that we can actually configure this to make it look a bit better so I'm gonna just use my circle tool here and I'm gonna add something that looks maybe like a vignette so I'm just gonna Yo, add that on. there and I'm gonna change the blend mode to maybe multiply. And yeah, I think I like that. And let me just lower the opacity to maybe 0.5. And uh, let me just look at that. And yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this, but I don't like the, uh, the, the, um, the harshness of the outer walls here. So I'm just gonna click back on the circle and I'm gonna go to feather and just change this to maybe 200 just to blur it out a bit and now it feels like it's blending into um, into the image here so I'm liking that and uh, I'm gonna flip flip this inside out so I'm gonna have the blue outside and 
um, this section inside. So I'm just going to click on the circle and click on invert. And now we have that. So that is looking really, really cool. Now, if, if I click back on the aftone here, we can see that we have two different colors, light and dark. So we can actually change the colors of the, um, the halftone. So as you can see, it's pretty much black and white, which is represented here. So I'm just going to click on the white here and just change it to a color that I like. Um, maybe yellow, I think. Okay, I'm really liking this color here. Yeah, I think I like this color. And uh, typically I don't usually change the, the dark color, um, but I'm gonna change it now to maybe a darker yellow or dark, well, or maybe orange-ish, dark orange. Like, so it's actually looking green there. Uh, well, that's because of the uh, the vignette. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna go with this. I click close, and I'm gonna come back to my circle here, and I'm gonna change this to a color like here. Let me make this a much darker tone, like so. All right, and I am liking this. Yeah, this looks really, really cool to me. All right, so let me just uh, group all of this into one group here. And we're just going to do a before and after animation. So I'm just gonna con copy the, the image here and I'm going to paste it outside of our group. Oh, let me actually drag and drag it out all right so with our with our effect off we can see the image and with it on this is what it looks like so i'm going to come into the group here and i'm just going to create a mask using my spline tool here so let me just create that loop and uh, i'm going to change the mask to a alpha over all right, so that way we can see our original image underneath. And um, so yeah, let me go ahead and animate this. Let me move this. Let me move this here. Well, actually, let me start over here because we want to see what it looks like. And then what it looks like before or what it looked like before and what it currently, currently looks like. All right, so let me turn on my animate button and um, let me just move this a bit to get that keyframe and I'm going to go over to maybe frame 48 and I'm going to move the both of these over here. So then if I should preview and press enter to play, we can see it has a wipe. So this is before and this is after and uh, this is a very sharp line there so I'm going to feather this out sticking with the 200 value okay so it's much smoother there and let me preview this again and press play and that is looking really really cool I like that so before and after before and after all right so this is how you can um, add after well this is how you can change your images into halftone images all right and this is a really really cool effect so yeah here are two additional things that we can do let's say we want to change the entire color of um, this scene right here without having to go into the group and change each color individually well you can simply add a solid and change that the blend method for the solid to color and then you can just change the color here to whatever you want so that makes it easier for you all right uh, the next thing i want to talk about is um there's another half tone here um so let me go and show you that 
new layer filter there's a half to half tone three and uh what it does is it adds three colors instead of two and the colors are um cayenne or cayenne magenta and yellow at least i think they are cayenne magenta and yellow um but it works pretty much the same way and i rarely use this one but you know you can experiment with it so yeah that's it for this one and i will see you in the next video